Dude, one champion has completely revolutionized my account and has allowed me to progress in ways that I really had no business doing. And it's actually not Archer Queen, who, by the way, I pumped a few legendary skill tomes into this gal and they all went to the A1. Are you kidding me with that crap look, dude? Oh my god. She didn't even take that many tomes to max out a... Man, I'm still salty about it. Either which way, this video is going to all be about Hitatsu. Didn't see that coming, did you? This son of a gun takes a lot of skill books to max up. But you know what, man? Some point during this video, I think we're going to dump a whole bunch of skill books into Hitatsu and just see what we can get done on this guy. Dude, this guy is awesome. And he's kind of underrated even by me for the longest time. You know, I kind of started to realize that the more dungeon content I do, the more I try and push it clan boss. And I'm just wiggling my way into slightly more like intermediate difficulty uh, content at this stage. Or at least what I think is intermediate. New player over here, you know, don't judge me. But yeah, Hachatsu is always part of my teams. I feel like he just kind of works at everything. Let's cover the kit real quick and just ignore... His uh, currently equipped Slayer set, by the way. God, we'll get to the gear in just a little bit. It's a little bit hodgepodge, because this account is still, you know, we're still putting things together over here, but his A1 is an attack of one enemy, with a chance of placing a Leech debuff for a couple of turns, which is fine. It's decent. It's just an extra little dose of survivability to not only Hitatsu, but the rest of your team as well. His A2 is where it's really at, man. Attack all enemies on a three-turn cooldown with a baseline 50% chance of placing a strong decrease attack debuff for a couple of turns. Now, how high can you crank up this accuracy? Well, not 100%. You can get it up to 85% fully booked plus the um, debuff mastery. So 85% is the most you can get. Therefore, obviously, it's not, you know, absolutely reliable, but it's a damn strong debuff on an AoE 310 cooldown. Really, really good into a lot of content where you're just taking guaranteed smacks to the face, right? We're talking clan boss, we're talking ice golem. And to be honest, most dungeons as well. Hatatsu did his biggest strength is that he's kind of good into everything, man. Here we go, his A3 as well, dude. One skill book to crank down the cooldown of this son of a gun to a three turn cooldown, 60% increased defense buff on all allies and a 15% continuous heal buff, albeit only for 110. But this skill just does a lot on a relatively low cooldown, man. And again, like most of his skills, by the way, this A3, it's just kind of good into everything. And that is why I feel Hitatsu is so underrated, right? And again, even by me, it's only in recent days that I realized that I actually just use him for everything. And I finally went ahead and just pumped a whole bunch of Ascendant potions into him, you know, to get him six star Ascended. He's kind of dungeon ratings as well, also makes sense. We have one low rating here for Fire Knight's Castle because, yeah, okay, fair enough. Fire Knight's Castle, you need like multiple attack champions, stuff like that. He's a single attack kind of guy. So while he doesn't make sense in Fire Knights, he kind of just works pretty well in everything else. I mean, particularly Demon Lord, he's obviously a Chad in Faction Wars. I'm kind of surprised that his arena uh, scores are this high as well. He seems a little bit below average in arena, let's be real. But everything else, he's just average or slightly above average. And that's why I will never regret investing in this guy. And hey man, before we break down Hatatsu's best possible gear, make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and input the happy little Game Leap promo code for a free energy refill, 10 experience brews, and 100k silver, because why the hell would you not? It's on the house, man, from me to y'all. And hey man, if you're going to be starting off a fresh raid Shadow Legends account anytime soon, make sure to do it by clicking the link down below at the top of the description box to start off your account with a bunch of freebies, including a free epic attack champion. The best possible way to start off your new raid account, man. And all right, dude, time to discuss the items. Okay, this gear is crap. But it also happens to be <laughs> the best gear, the best artifacts that I have on this account at this time. This account's like a month and a half old. I'm working with limited resources here, okay? So I went ahead and just slammed the Tatsu in some relentless gear because it's like the only six star gear that I have. And you know what? It's got some pretty good defensive stats on it. I'm quite happy with the shield. Actually, we managed to roll into health percentage, speed, and accuracy. Sadly, some of our upgrade points went into uh, boosting crit damage, which is obviously very very worthless but is what it is and so we're just kind of trying to make the best of a gnarly situation here i've also got some perception gear on hatatsu here as well uh gloves and boots both of which have pretty damn good stats on them speed boots accuracy substat defense 
not bad, you know. The main reason is to just give him that accuracy bump. Whoops. Give him that accuracy bump up to about 140-ish uh, accuracy rating right now, which about matches up with the dungeon stages that I'm up against, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, Hitatsu is attempting to apply two pretty important debuffs, especially the decrease attack. And so making sure that you do have the accuracy to get those things to land is quite crucial. Ideally, you don't have to have him in perception gear at all, but in this case, this is just where my account's at right now, so it's all just a little bit hodgepodge. What items would I actually like to have equipped on Hitatsu? Let's head to the forge, man. The Guardian set, dude. The wearer absorbs 10% of all damage dealt to ally champions, and the champion will also heal by 10% every turn. This is exactly Hitatsu's bread and butter. This is exactly his kind of style, right? He's a general support champ, applying those debuffs, just being as tanky as humanly possible and spreading survivability amongst the rest of the team. Guardian set feels like it would be really, really excellent on Hitatsu. Sadly, I'm a little bit ways off that right now. I've even got, as you've seen already, a couple of Slayer items here as well, including a banner that gives attack and health, you know, and it's like the health's fine, but an attack style banner. It's like, it's literally all I have, you know, I mean, I'm just very, very limited with uh, what accessories I actually have access to, so... These are very, very much just, I'm just kind of stuffing anything into gaps uh, in his gear at this stage. Man, I'm really, really looking forward to farming up masteries on this guy as well. He's got a lot of development yet to do, you know, but hey, I really, really rate him. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Am I crazy as hell? Is he just absolute trash to your food? Let me know down below and hell, while you're down there commenting as well, make sure to subscribe while you're at it too. We're a pretty new channel over here, and it would really, really mean a lot to have you on board, man. Genuinely. And this brings us to the obligatory Hell Hades champion review. He's actually scored at a full star, which is, like, pretty damn decent already. We scroll on down, and yeah, I mean, it feels pretty nice to be vindicated. But there it is. As you can see, he's just kind of like a jack of all trades. He can just do a little bit of everything and fits pretty damn well into most content in the game. Which is why I feel so, so comfortable and so, so confident investing in this guy for now. As a newish account, I feel pretty damn blessed to, uh, to have him in my roster and know that he's going to be a staple in most of my content teams. Besides like Fire Knight and uh, PvP. For a long, long time to come, man. It feels really, really good. And really, is he actually that good into Hydra as well? Oh my god. Maybe he's even a little bit... Maybe, I've, maybe I'm still underrating him, man. Maybe he's actually pretty good. I mean, hell here, he says he's forced die in Hydra. That seems that's quite impressive to me. I'm literally just waiting for the next champion training tournament to start. Then we're going to throw some epic skill books into Hitatsu and see where they land. And all we're hoping for is that they do not go into the A1. That would be awful. We want at least one to go into his A3 so we instantly get that reduced cooldown. And then as many as possible into the A2. Mostly for the increased debuff chance. If we can get all the way down to the uh, minus cooldown as well. That would also be tight. Five hours later. And ooh... Tournament's actually started, but one more thing that I did not mention for Hitatsu is actually his aura, man. It's an increased ally defense in all battles by 25%. I want to draw attention to this. All battles, right? If you've got nothing better to throw into clan boss, if you've got nothing better to use in dungeons, right? As far as auras go, Hitatsu is your man. Or your beat low, whatever he is. I don't know, man. Let's head on in to the tavern. I think I'll just stop if I hit a skill buck on his A3. You know what I'm saying? That's the A1. That's the worst possible roll. Okay, let's keep going. There's a point on the A2. It's a plus damage. Kind of crappy. Oh, God, that was the A1 again, wasn't it? Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, come on, man. No, no, no. Dude, not like this, man. Not like this. Well, it's not as bad as my Archer Queen, which every legendary tome I put into here so far, every single one has went into the A1. Okay, there's another in the A3. That's debuff chance. That's pretty good. It's actually fine. And it's all debuff chance from here on out in the A3, so we're not too upset about that. Bit more debuff chance? As long as we dodge the A1 from here on out, then I'm okay. Oh, wow. Okay, man. All right, all right, all right. We're hitting the A2 a lot here. I might end up just dumping every epic skill tome here. Oh, my God. Okay, bro. Now we're at a point where I like one skill book in either the A2 or the A3 is really good. There's the A3. I mean, you know I've got to go for the A2 now as well, right? No! We, I mean, we gotta go for it. We're one buck. We, we, we've got one buck left to try and get the A2. Oh, why is life like this? Well, god damn it. Whatever, dude. Let's ruin this guy in some content. This is just some hard clan boss. Nothing too crazy, but you know what? It's where the clan is currently at. 
It just is what it is, and nice, man. Right away, we land the decreased attack buff. And basically, Campbell's just does nothing at that point. Dude, and there it is, man. The plus defense as well. So next attack is also just going to do absolutely nothing, which is just really, really good times. And hey, man, this is just kind of what it's all about with Hitatsu, right? It's just general survivability. And again, that decreased attack debuff is just really damn good against anything that's going to be swinging into you with especially overwhelming AoE damage. That's why Clan Boss, so good for Hitatsu. Ice Golem. It's great. I think I've also got to run him just in a little bit of Minotaur as well after this one. Just because, well, the next thing I need on him is the Masteries, right? So it makes a bit of sense. Not that I've progressed to very difficult levels of Clan Boss or Minotaurs or whatever on this account. Of course, it's a month and a half old. Progress is slow and steady, especially because I'm kind of learning a lot as I go as well, you know? So the noob life over here, man. Quest from noob to pro. You know what I'm saying? We're getting towards the more devastating rounds and tight. There it is. The decreased attack debuff lands. And sweet. That's just going to keep us alive for an extra couple rounds here, man. Which, you know, I know this ain't all that impressive. It's hard, it's hard mode clan boss. But still, I think it's showing a reasonable demonstration of what he's all about. Alrighty. And down we go, boys. Okay, man. Now, this is kind of like chief among the reasons why I feel like Hitatsu might just be a little bit underrated. It's that a lot of the value he brings to the team just doesn't show up in the final scoreboard. You know what I mean? It's a lot of increased, like, strong increased defense buffs that are very consistent. It's a lot of leech debuffs on the boss. So, a lot of healing kind of spread across the team. And then it's a lot of decreased attack on, of course, the boss that you're trying to bring down. None of which shows up on the scoreboard, right? So, it's like 60% of his kit is not reflected in the final score, you know what I'm saying? But So it turns out we're actually going to test out Hitatsu in Spider. I think this is 13 or 14 or something like that, which I've never actually been able to beat before. Let's see if we were able to pull it off, you know what I'm saying? I did try him out in Minotaur just now, but we just cleared it all the way to max, and it was, like, much too easy. I guess I, I, I just didn't realize, I suppose, how uh, easy Minotaur was compared to um, some of the other dungeon bosses, you know? So let's see how we handle a Spider boss that, until now... I'd never beaten before. Alrighty. Hitatsu up next. Is this going to be the decrease attack? No, it's just a regular attack. Ugh. So I think that War Maiden's Days are numbered here. And this is an issue that I'm having with Armager now as well. Normally I'd want to run Armager instead of the uh, War Maiden in this team. Obviously. Right? But yeah. His artifacts kind of suck. This is a big decrease attack from Hitatsu. But that's good. Uh, yeah. Like whether I run, run War Maiden or Armager. They both just die. Because they're like only level 50. They're, uh, the, the gear sets just kind of suck. Oh my god. This doesn't look all too difficult. I think that we got this. Spider's about to attack in, but it has that, again, huge decrease attack debuff. So I'm not that worried about it. It might just tickle us a little bit. I've got to say as well, Archer Queen is just absolutely insane. Completely ridiculous in the uh, survivability that she gives to the team. A tank and a healer and a wave clearer and a controller all in one. <laughs> just a ridiculous, ridiculous champion that we've got over here, man, but... I mean, look at that healing, for God's sake. What the hell was that? It was just text on the screen. I couldn't even see the enemy anymore. Hikatoon taking a lot of attacks. I think she's actually screwed. She's just dead to the poisons, man. Okay, dude. Big Acid Rain comes out. We take, like, no damage. Because of Hitatsu's decreased attack. From uh, the spider itself. Can we actually pull this off as three? The son of a gun's, like, half health. I think we can do it. Oh, my God. Is it finally about to end? Oh my god, it finally ended. Okay, dude. That was like a nearly like a nine minute run. <laughs> so besides the two weak links in the team that went down, we're still able to pull it off, man. Okay, Christ. So hey, man, that's Hitatsu, the no longer quite so silent hero of my raid account at present. Is he pretty damn good? Does he actually suck? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And while you're down there, if you're starting up a fresh raid account, make sure you do so by clicking the link down below at the top of the video description. Make sure you like the video. And subscribe, it'd be awesome to have you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all did enjoy, and we're gonna catch all of y'all just a tad bit later, man.